Denise Rapid. She's a secret laughter instructor, photographer, and egg artist. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Denise Rapid. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Angie, this is my boom moment. I'm doing a patala katala. <laughs> I guess I'm ready. There we go. Oh, we're missing half of my day. I was born on January 24th, 1958. Today I'm 19, I don't know, this year I'm 58. Two light atoms were bashed together to create the first man-made nuclear fusion. Kaboom! Or boom. What a great, significant event that was. But on June, and I had a great presentation. I was going to talk about how I became a laughter yoga leader and went into a peace march and developed all this peace art and limited and went around the world photographing peace signs. But on June 17th, a major event, very significant, happened. A girl at work had a heart attack in her cubicle. They no longer call them heart attacks. They call them heart events. If you look at a significant, when you have a significant pain, you run if you can't. You tell someone. She didn't tell anyone. She sat in her booth for hours. And if you don't get help within the first hour, you can get and have significant damage to your heart. Significant. But this wasn't the only event that I've had. I've witnessed three since May, three women who have suffered heart events. And they all did not respond. We have awareness. February is even heart month. We have technology, defibrillators at every corner. We have training. Every, how many have to have training? And drugs. There's drugs now. So if you can't get help, what is it? What is happening? Like, why didn't these women get help? Did you know 1.5 million women in North America are going to have a heart attack this year? Why? Why? It's not awareness, it's not technology. Why? It's our behavior. It has nothing, nothing to do with all the technology, all the awareness, all the equipment, all the training. It's our behavior. And what do I mean by our behavior? Well, for 20 minutes, she sat in fear. She was paralyzed. But you know what? She Googled it. Boom. I'm going to Google while I have a heart attack. And then she sat there for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Next, after she had fear, she developed embarrassment. Because she went and told somebody, I think I'm having a heart attack, but I'm not sure. So they took her pulse, then they tried to convince her, but she wouldn't listen. She just said, no, I'm okay. And then five people were all around her. For 15 minutes, we were trying to get her to sit down, to lie down, to pay attention. Someone didn't even call nine, by the way, corporation, nine, nine, one, one. All of a sudden, anger sent in. My goodness, she doesn't have an anger issue with only 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I thought it had been only the final case. Now we're up to 45 minutes of fear, embarrassment, shame. Shame set in. Do you know why? Because she went, she walked herself down to the nurse. And do you know what the nurse said? You should go to emergency. So they walked back, and I stood up and I said, So what was the recommendation? And she said, we're going to go to emergency. And I said, oh, really? How are you going to get there? I'm going to drive. Defiance had set in. And Denise, in her big, booming voice, went, no, you're not. The, rec the director's office heard me. They came running. Everybody came running. I said, you're going to call 911 now. So I went down to the reception. 
and I waited for them to deal with her. She called it herself. Do you know why? Because she is the first aider. She had just had training three weeks prior, and she just had her floor monitor training with the corporation. She was reluctant. Very, very, very reluctant. Do you know that she walked herself out to the ambulance and I was downstairs waiting for her, them to come in so I could take them up to her and she walks right by me with her backpack. Then, do you see what happens? Every minute that you are without oxygen on your heart, you kill it. Don't waste your time. That's what I need to tell you. I have to get this off my chest. So what did I learn from this? Well, I became very interested in my own situation. When I was in Amsterdam, I suffered the same thing, and I did nothing. Absolutely nothing, because I was afraid. What are you going to do if this ever happens to you? Like, have you ever thought about it? When you're 20 years old, when you're 30, 40, 50, things change, you have to make an adjustment. You need to influence yourself. You can't rely on anybody else because you won't listen. So you got to learn to influence. I need to influence myself. I'm very passionate about this all of a sudden because this happened to my Auntie Kelly. She thought she had a stomach ache three stints later. Then another guy sat in the parking lot. He has a stint. Do you know that it only takes 22 minutes to insert a stint and you have healing to your heart? Now, Rick Mercer better be doing something because 22 minutes in this hour is the same. You should do a show on this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to learn to accept help and just get through this because I don't do that very well. I don't know about you, but I don't accept help very well. And Wendy and uh, my Auntie Kelly and this lady that was sitting in a conference right beside me had a heart attack while I was at dinner, all since May. And I noticed that it was our behavior, and we didn't trust ourselves. We didn't know how to trust ourselves. Can you trust yourself if you're ever in that situation? And can you get the right help? Do you know when you need to get the help? It's about trust. And it's not about trusting anybody else. It's about trusting ourselves, to be kind to ourselves. Don't waste your time. Because I'll tell you something, every time you have a heart attack, and it heals, the one day it's gonna go boom! And you're not gonna have a heart. And that's a very significant situation. Thank you.